it comes from basins built into the rock wall at which I'm standing. Uh, that's it, let's get back to the show. Elephants are the largest living land mammal in the world. Upon being fully grown, they can weigh up to 4,000 kilograms and sometimes even more. But despite their heavy weights, they have an excellent sense of balance as Bambi here is demonstrating by walking along that narrow tree log. Elephants have got really big feet, so the cracks and ridges of the soles of their feet give them good grip, making them excellent climbers of steep hills, mountains, and even cliffs. And Bambi here is going to impress you a little further by making a half turn along that narrow tree surface. And to be honest with you, this is actually rather simple for Bambi. I'll take a look at the concentration on her beautiful face. Halfway there. Just one more foot, Gamba. And it looks like she's all done. Well done, Gamba. And not only can she walk forwards along that narrow tree surface, she can also walk backwards as well, using her trunk to feel along the way. And for those of you get with your cameras, get them ready. We've got a beautiful picture, perfect pose coming right up for all of you. Anytime now, that's one foot up. And a two-footed salute by a three-turned elephant. Nicely done. Thank you, Gamba and Mahmoud Faru. An Asian elephant like Gambi over here can weigh up to 3,000 kilograms upon being fully grown. The Mahouts, on the other hand, will never weigh anything close to that. So how exactly do Mahouts guide and communicate with our elephants without using any verbal commands? Let's find out. Good afternoon, Mahouts. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Can I have our elephants move to the right, please? Alright, and to move to the left, same thing, tapping on the elephant's left shoulder, elephants will move to the left. What do you guys think? Farouk, they were clapping, but they don't sound impressed. Don't impress, don't impress me, right? I know, that's what I said, but they don't sound impressed. I tell you what, are you up for a challenge? Yes, we are. Okay, let's have our elephants. Fly, fly, fly. Okay, we've got the propelling of the drum, the flapping of the air. The elephants say they're very big to fly, but they're too fat. They are too fat. I think more like some of the Mahouts need to lose some weight, yeah? It's okay, we're just kidding. Elephants cannot fly, so let's get back to more of those non verbal commands. Let's have our elephants move backwards. Tap to both of their shoulders, elephants will move to the back. And of course, in order to get the elephants to move forward, just like that, they have to tap right behind both the elephants. Yes, yeah, elephants will move forward. And Fancy Mahouts dropping their anchors, but not to worry, our ladies to the rescue, returning the Mahouts' death anchors. And it looks like Yana Gold has one more salute in for everybody. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Now let's demonstrate a method of mounting and dismounting an elephant practice in countries such as Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, as well as Sri Lanka. A few gentle words from the Mahout, Gamba will lower her head and trunk so that the Mahout can easily just fly right on, but on, but clumsy man that he is. Sorry, Gamba will help you. Gamba will help you. Okay, Gamba, all you have to do is pick up the hat. Return it right back to the hood, Farouk. Okay, nice and easy, just pick it up. Gambia? Gambia is too playful this afternoon, huh? But I feel you go, go ahead. Aprila is ready. Okay, Aprila. Clean, dry hat, please. I'm sure Aprila is not as playful as Gambia here today. And there we go. Give it Aprila. to him. Uh, Faru, I think you have to come down and get it yourself. There we go, she's loading her trunk once again, this time going down on her front legs. Down there, keep my head, so she can help you. Down there will help you to take you sure she's not going to kick it back into the water. Okay, extreme trust and faith in uh, his elephant right there. So, looks like she's picking it up, her legs, she's ready to kick it. <laughs> Is she going to return him this hat? 
Okay, she looks like she's using a different tech. This time, she's going to suck up the hat. And then she's going to walk over to the car room. Take a look at how intelligent she is. Believe it or not, she's taking aim. And just like that, down, down, down it goes to this way. a nice truck to handshake, <laughs> exchanging a few words of gratitude and thanks. And for here being a very lucky man, he's going to get a nice, wet, juicy kiss from a 23-year-old girl. <laughs> okay, how's that feel? I love you. Oh, I love you, he says very sweet. That Okay, now like we promised earlier, we're going to show you how he mounts an elephant. And I want him to get him into position. Got me when you're ready. <laughs> what do you want, baby? What do you want? Okay, remember? If you gave me the key, I forgot to give up my back. Ah, no wonder you're still single. Remember, remember? Okay, is that apple enough, Gambe? Let's find out. Once again, into position. And she's lowering her head, her trunk in place and lifting him clean right off his feet. All he has to do is to turn and hop right back on. Thank you, Gambe. And we will cover it. Being the largest living land mammal in the world, the size and strength of an Asian elephant is definitely unfathomable. But despite their big, their heavy weights, they're out to prove that they're definitely stronger than their African counterparts. With one playful push, with the trunk down that wall, trunk along that inside, and a brilla to the center, not wanting to be left out, is going to use leg strength to get that lock into the water. Bear in mind that a girl is only 17 years of age and already she possesses immense strength in those legs of hers. Clearly right here at the Singapore Zoo, all we need is raw elephant power. Now with just one more kick, I'm pretty sure she'll get it in. And there we go, right into the water. Thank you very much, a gorilla and a power. Yeah, both half-sisters came to us 
from Indonesia and about 17 years of age. Uh, Bella has her name derived from the month that she was born in. No prizes for guessing, it's April. In turn, the other hand has her name derived from Mahasa, Indonesia word, which simply translates into diamond. I'm sure you'll all agree with me, she's as precious as the jam that she was named for. But these two young ladies are doing their very best to catch up with the older ladies in the hub. And my older ladies, they put a garment over to the left. The garment is our 23 year old Malaysian elephant. And despite her age, she is the most playful and cheekiest elephant that we have. Despite of all that, she is also the most gentle elephant that we have. And when it comes to meeting up with guests, especially young children, Gambia is definitely the mood elephant of choice. Now, now that they've got the logs back up on land, we have to push it back into its original position. Gambia, yeah, being a pro at her task, all she has to do is to kick it back into place. Uh, pro on the other hand, need a little help from Intan to twist it into position before rolling it up the ramp. Our elephant's trunk contains about 40,000 muscle units. That's more muscle units than we have in our entire bodies combined. Strong enough to pick up logs and also gentle and sensitive enough to pluck a single blade of grass. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, okay, go out of place. language of Sri Lanka. But more about that later. Get your cameras ready because down they go and up they come. Wait. 